let's get it. What's popping, everybody? It's your boy Sean from Collector's Closet coming at you with another review. And today we're going to take a look at the Marvel Legends Ravager Thor. Now, this is from the upcoming movie Thor Love and Thunder. So it's an MCU figure, but this dude looks dope as hell. So I definitely had to pick it up. Definitely had to do a review. And so, yeah. Get your typical packaging by the Marvel Legends. Open window view showcasing the figures and the build a figure uh, piece, which he comes with Korg's arm. This is the core Korg uh, build a figure wave. Here's the rest of the figures that are in this wave. You also get a little bio. More than welcome to pause it. Read it for yourself. You get artwork showcasing um, the actor. I forgot what his damn name is, man. And I shouldn't. <laughs> I, I don't know. I'm tired. Waking up at 5 o'clock in the morning. Baby. Family. Anyway. Here's a side panel. Looks pretty dope. And so, yeah. Let's go ahead and crack this thing open. If you're new to the channel, we do all unboxes live, raw, uncut. No editing allowed. Get my knife. Bong. Yeah, so, hey. You guys ready for this movie? I definitely am. I did pick up all of the figures that are in this wave. I'm starting with this guy. I may review the other ones. But, uh, yeah. Really, really uh, was interested in this guy. The Korg. We do have another Korg. Did we need another one? I don't know. I did see some issues with the legs not closing in or coming in far enough. But anyway, I thought the figure was dope as hell, so I had to pick it up. I know um, a lot of people don't collect MCU. They really stick to the comic uh, the comic uh, version. So here he is. But I definitely am ready for the movie. Accessories. I'm going to leave the arm in there. And Ravager Thor. Man, the likeness on this dude. Shit. One thing Hasbro does, Hasbro henchmen stand up, is uh, that face print technology is dope as hell. And when they want to nail some shit out of the park, It always tends to be the MCU figures. It gets all the um, the um, latest technology, right? Pinless, elbows and knees, double joints, face scan, paint. I mean, let's bring them in. We're going to do a roundabout on him. And check him out. Looks good as hell, man. The denim jeans. Stitching, sculpt, the belt is painted. Look at the belt, man. You get some gold paint in there. The belt is painted brown. The shirt, look at the detail on the on the uh, tank top. The paint, the sculpt, the head is done phenomenal. Nice wash to the hair. The straps on his boots are painted. And like I said, man, you get the double uh, joint pinless technology. This uh, vest is dope as hell, too. You get the paint on it. Nice sculpt and detail. Silver buttons up here on the shoulder. If you can see that. Get the silver button here on the pocket. Get zipper uh, detail sculpted in. A lot of stitch work. Yeah, man, they nailed this shit. That face, man, is crazy. But yeah, he looks damn good. Nice sculpt here on the back of the uh, vest. Some silver paint in there. The wash on the hair. You can see that. Yeah, he looks good, man. 
Now, of course, there's going to be some things I like, some things that I do not like. And uh, I'll talk about the things that I don't like because it, you know, until they until they change it, man, I'm always bring it up. Um, I wish they do a, a double ball for the uh, waist. That way, when you rotate, you don't get that flat surface. You see what I'm saying? You see that? They tuck it in, basically how they do, um, how McFarlane does his figures and how they're doing it on the the G.I. Joe line. I don't mean to do a comparison right now, but how they taper it into the hit and there's it's on a ball, right? So you don't get no breakage when you go to rotate the waist. But yeah. Anyway, there he is looking good as hell. We're going to start with articulation wonder what the head is on. Probably a double ball because he got attitude. Want to pull it off? Why not? Let's see. Yep. So you got a double ball, which I like. Big ball at the top. But it's kind of limited range. I don't mind as long as it's a double ball. But looking up because of the hair and then the vest, he doesn't look up that much. Looking down, you can look down quite a bit. Of course, you get your rotation. And like I said, with a double ball, man, you're going to get some good attitude out of it. So, I like that. Nice fluid motion out of that. The look is kind of <laughs> blank, but whatever. It looks good, though. Arms hinge up. So, you get your T-pose. You get rotation, bicep cut. You are double jointed and pinless, and those elbows look very good. Unlike <laughs> McFarlane, man. Look at the difference. They both could take a page out of each other's book, but you see how, and this is what I mean when I'm doing my uh, my McFarlane uh, figures, and I talk about that cut the elbow and how much plastic is cut up out of it. Now you guys can actually see how it's supposed to be done. So shout out to Hasbro. Hasbro henchman. Relax. I'll tear up them uh, McFarlane mercenaries. Rotation at the uh, hand. You get a um, horizontal hinge on both, actually. So just in and out. No up and down. No vertical uh, hinge. Ab. Uh... So actually, you get this ab cut. Don't like that, you know. Standard McFar or Hasbro shit, Marvel Legends. So he, he bends forward that far. He can go back a decent amount. So not bad. And they do continue to paint. So I'll do like that. And you get your rotation at the hip. So we already went over that. So one thing that I will say I don't like. Other than that, man, this thing is pretty solid, man. I even like how they match the skin tone on the chest with the white beat, the white beater, the white tank top. I ain't gonna say white beater, but the white tank top. So I'm not sure if you know this upper torso is all white and they painted the um, skin tone, or if it's all skin tone they painted the white. I don't know. I can't tell because it's done too damn good. You dig? But you get that cut, so you get your rotation out of that. He can kick forward that far, which is good enough. Kick back, good enough. He can, look at that shit, man. When I say, man, they nail it for these MCU figures, dude, they fucking nail it. I mean, he can almost do the damn splits. Better than some of the um, Spider-Man Spider figures. He is double-jointed at the knee, also pinless. And that knee gets all the way nice being out of that. Um, No boot cut. Not the biggest deal in the world for me. And another thing I will say, man, the quality as far as the plastic that Hasbro uses, man, is fucking A1. So I will say that. They are going up in cost. I do feel that we should get a little bit more in the box. I will go over accessories. I kind of forgot about that. But you do get your... Foot the hinges down that much, which is a lot. 
it hinges all the way up, which is good. And of course, you get your uh, Hasbro pivot. I'm trying to knock out different reviews from McFarlane and Hasbro today, so I'm mixing up the company names. But yeah, all in all, man, he's a solid A1 figure, man. It's a definite buy for me. I like even how the hand, that arm, when the, how the hand meets the form, how they got that. It's just perfect, man. But real quick, the accessories. We do. Uh, he, he comes with an axe, silver paint. It's gray plastic with silver paint because the little details that aren't painted is gray. So you get a brown handle. So that's pretty cool. But yeah. And it's super gummy, man. That's one thing I will say, man. Hasbro, man, please stop using this cheap ass rubbery bendable uh plastic for your accessories, man. Make it solid. For real, please. I mean, this shit is so gummy, man. If you put this in his hand and on the shelf, man, in a few months, this thing will be damn leaning. Because this top heavy and the handle is so damn gummy. But, of course, he can hold it. I ain't getting too crazy with the poses and nothing like that, man. So, but yeah, there he is. It's a dope ass figure though, man. I will say that for sure. Let's jump right into uh, SAS comparisons. You seeing Green Arrow out here, man. I tend to use the same guys, man, because I've been doing a lot of remodeling and switching stuff up. As you can tell, I'm on a new station. So, is that those guys scale? He's a lot taller, of course, because McFarlane is seven inch. Recently reviewed Red Hood. Those guys scale pretty good, actually. All right. Not too bad. Um, let's do that uh Thor that um Ragnarok, I should say. Recently reviewed on the channel. That was how those guys scale. This was a deluxe set, deluxe figure by and I think it's a target exclusive, but that's how those guys scale. He's a lot taller and bigger, more beefier. So I like that. But I wish they had, you know, I mean, these just came out and, you know, we got the pins. Give us this, show us the same love, man, on, on our comic book shit. Can't have a real, uh, a comparison without my boy, Major Blood, G.I. Joe, man. He towers over to Major Blood. Same company, different lines, but yeah. So those guys scale. Let's get my girl, Riri. And, of course, he towers over her. But that's how those guys scale. And let's see. Let's do a Halo Master Chief. And, of course, Master Chief towers over him, as he should. And, yeah. So, look at... Ravager Thor from the upcoming movie Thor Love and Thunder. Um, yeah, it's a definite buy, man. Pick mine up at Target. They are starting to hit shelves. So if you're looking for it, keep your eyes open. They're being sold everywhere. Amazon, Walmart, Target, wherever, man. So I think this is a definite buy. I mean, if you're not into that uh, build up, that core uh, build a figure. You know, man, this is a definite, for real, I'm going to say all of them because uh, I just, you know, but my job is to just give it to you raw and uncut. I can see people picking up Ravager, Valkyrie, she has a new paint deco, maybe not. So, but uh, I'm pretty sure people going to pick up Gore, um, Mighty Thor, the other Thor, uh, not sure. We already got... Um, Groot, baby, or Teen Groot, right, and uh, Star-Lord, we are, so, I mean, I don't know, I don't know, let me know what you, 
Let me know which ones you picking up. Are you collecting this entire wave or are you going to pass and just pick up a couple of them? I will say, man, this one right here, add it to your shelf, man. It's a dope-ass mold, dope figure, dope-ass paint, sculpt, detail, all of that. But make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, like, comment, and share. Let me know what you think about this one. And uh, yeah, man, you guys know my Sam, man. It's your boy, Sean, and I'm out. One. Oh,